All right, Stealth Seller here. Today is Thursday, December 19. Sales have been pretty good on eBay. Been packing up a lot of stuff, sending it out. Um, slowed down the last couple of days. I just had one uh, thing that I packed up today, which was a, one of my textbooks that I sold for $19.99 for free shipping. So I made about $14, $15 on that. It went media mail. Had a pickup today, um, contacted, or actually this guy contacted me about um, all these coins that he had and tokens and such. And um, so we decided to meet up. I took a look at everything that he had. He initially wanted $800 for everything. I thought that was a little too high. So... We negotiated down to $550 for everything you see here. Um, when I started looking at it, I was like, well, maybe it wasn't such a great buy. But then when I started thinking about it, and if I sold each one of these for $5, I would easily make my money back in a little bit. But I know I'm going to get more than $5 each on these. This uh, Confederate... $5 bill, which is graded. Uh, these go for about $100 itself. And then the other selling point for me was, let me see if I can find it here. It was a medallion. Hold on, let me look for it. Okay, I found it. So this 1920... Eight surfing medallion from Honolulu. This thing here goes for at least two hundred bucks, at least. Uh, could go for more. So just these two things alone, I get like three hundred dollars back. Um, maybe even a little bit more. So then everything else here is kind of gravy. Um, let me show you what I got. So this is a U.S. 1962 Franklin Mint proof set. Doesn't go for a whole lot. There are some German coins in here. This is a German medallion. Um, this one here is looks like Russian or something like that. There are some silver coins. Eighteen eighty-three. Um, let's see what else did I have here. Uh, this was pretty interesting. A Pearl Harbor transit token from nineteen twenty-eight. Uh, this little block of silver here. Um, Another transit token. Some of these tokens can go for some money. This one was marked $55. It's an 1837. Um, uh, some of these, this dime here is, uh, it's kind of a deformed dime. Sometimes these things can go for some money. Just the, uh, the oddity of it. Got some Mexican uh, money there. Um, I had some German money. I'm trying to see if I could find it. It's a five cents coin. Liberty head dime. This is a uh, 1943 half dollar. Uh, this $2 bill, I don't know if there's something special about it. I'll have to look that up. It has the number 12 on it. So I'll have to look that one up and see what's special about that. Um, so like I said, even if I sold these for $5 each, I'd definitely make my money back plus some uh, with that stuff there. I also have some stamps. I don't really deal too much in stamps, but he just threw these in. So who knows what any of this stuff is worth. Um, nine pies. 
two cents from Mexico. One centavo. Oh, and then these these coins here are pretty interesting. They're kind of like a Roman kind of coin. I'm going to have to look these up. I don't know too much about these. They look very, very clean. Um, and here's the German, German uh, coins from 1944 during World War II. And then there was this jewelry here. This is all sterling silver rings. This was all part of the deal. Sterling silver necklace. Uh, sterling silver child's bracelet. You can see it says sterling in there. Um, so a bunch of, bunch of unique stuff that I've never seen before. It's a little tiny, tiny coin in there. So, based on uh, all this stuff, I should make some money off this, uh, depending on some of the um, unknowns, like this unique dime here, with the oddity in the back, and I believe there is a penny that has some kind of oddity in the back, some kind of stamp. Um, I should make money, here's an um, Indian head nickel off this um and then he said he had some more stuff that uh he might be willing to part with some gold coins so we'll see what this leads to um but yeah so everything here pick this up i think these two things are probably the most valuable that i can determine right off the bat there might be something in here that is um unique like I don't have any idea what these coins would go for um, so we'll see we'll uh, piece it out look it up do some research and uh, get some of this stuff listed in my store and uh, we'll see where we go from there so like subscribe leave me a comment if you see anything that you uh, you have uh, knowledge about let me know all right stuff seller out have a great day